Welcome to the Hollywood Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's episode, Mental Health and Woke Beliefs, a dating guide for men. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collections of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. Today, we're diving into some juicy insights about the dating scene, specifically focusing on women you might want to avoid. And trust me, women love blaming men for everything. However, I'm helping you navigate the complex world of relationships with a bit of humor and common sense. Finnish researchers decided to dive deep into what makes someone woke. You know, those folks deeply committed to social justice causes. They devised the Critical Social Justice Attitude Scale. We're just going to call that CSJAS which essentially measures how much someone buys into certain progressive ideals. I'll put a link to the survey in the description. They surveyed about 851 people and found some interesting trends. For starters, women, especially those in the fields like social sciences, education, and humanities, were way more likely to embrace woke ideas than men. Meanwhile, men, particularly those in STEM fields, were more skeptical. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. They found a strong correlation between those woke beliefs and mental health issues. Let me say this again, guys. They found a strong correlation between those woke beliefs and mental health issues. Now, I know most of you are thinking, no, shite. In short, the more someone agreed with these social justice statements, the more likely they were to suffer from anxiety and depression. You might be wondering why this matters to you. Well, if you're out there in the dating pool, it's crucial to understand the types of people you're dealing with. Women who are heavily invested in woke ideologies might bring a lot of drama into your life. Um, I mean, a lot. If you prefer peaceful, straightforward relationship, knowing these traits can help you avoid unnecessary headaches. So, red flags to watch out for. So what should you be on the lookout for? Here are sir, a few statements from the study that could be red flags. Number one, if white people have on average, a higher level of income than black people, it's because of racism. Number two, university reading lists should include fewer white or European authors. Number three, microaggressions should be challenged often and actively. Women who strongly agree with these ideas might be more inclined to engage in endless debates about social justice, which can be exhausting, 
if that's not your thing. They might also have a heightened sensitivity to perceived slights, leading to more conflicts and stress in the relationship. The study showed a significant gender divide in the acceptance of woke beliefs. Three out of five women were all in, while only one out of seven men felt the same way. This means that if you're a guy who values traditional or more conservative viewpoints, you're statistically less likely to find common ground with a woman who holds strong woke beliefs. The mental health connection. The study found that people who are deeply in the social justice beliefs often struggle with higher levels of anxiety and depression. This isn't about shaming anyone for their mental health, but it's an important consideration. Dating someone with significant mental health challenges can add a layer of complexity to your relationship. Or, put simply, don't stick your D in crazy. Now, let's connect the dots, shall we? Women who make poor mate choices often end up in tumultuous relationships. This can drive negative behaviors like hostility or acts towards men and others. If a woman is constantly choosing partners who don't treat her well or align with her values, it's no wonder she might develop a negative outlook. <gasps> Shocker, huh? This negativity can spill over into how she interacts with the world, including how she treats you. Finnish researchers also found that women who align with woke ideologies and have poor mental health might exhibit hostility or negative behaviors. This isn't just towards men, but also towards other women and society at large. Think about it. If someone is unhappy and stressed, they're more likely to lash out. Practical dating advice. All right, so what should you do with all this information? Here are some practical tips. Number one, vet your dates. Take the time to understand a woman's beliefs and values. Ask questions about her views on social issues. If she's heavily invested in woke ideologies and you're not, check please and punch out, as in eject, eject, eject. Two, look for balance. Seek women who have a balanced perspective. It's not about finding someone who agrees with everything you say but rather someone who isn't extreme in their views and can handle differing opinions without turning every conversation into a battle. Three, mental health matters. Be aware of the mental health implications if a woman seems to have significant anxiety or depression linked to her beliefs. Do not white knight. You are not her therapist. And don't be a Captain Saber 304. You should always focus on seeking those who are mentally functional. 4. Avoid drama. Recognize the signs of a potential drama llama. If she's always ready to debate or gets offended easily. Basically, run. Drama is for the big screen and the little screen, not for your life. At the end of the day, dating is about finding someone who complements your life, not complicates it. 
by understanding the traits and behaviors associated with certain beliefs, you can make a more informed choice and hopefully avoid unnecessary drama. So, next time you're on a date and the topic of social justice comes up, pay attention. It might save you a lot of emotional damage down the road. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send a link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out the occasional meme that's posted, and definitely subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up and a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my video with more people and a support which helps me make more content for you.